When stories about his sex life appeared in the tabloids, Max Mosley decided to fight back. At great personal expense, he stood up to the newspapers that had alleged the sex parties he'd been involved with had a Nazi theme. It was a case he won. I had the impression from the outset that as soon as I challenged the original story, that the entire resources of News International, News Group newspapers, were then deployed uh, effectively to try and destroy me. Fascism in Great Britain has advanced more rapidly... Mosley was the youngest son of Oswald Mosley, who led the British Union of Fascists in the 1930s. But Max Mosley chose a different path as a racing driver who went on to lead the sport. After the deaths in 1994 of Ayrton Senna and Roland Ratzenberger on consecutive days on the track at Imola in San Marino, Mosley led the sport's rethink on driver safety. Max became uh, an important figure through uh, the latter part of my career, or the main part of my career, and uh, was a, a formidable character who took control of the sport and, together with Bernie Eccleston, shaped it the way they wanted it to and took on anybody who tried to stop them. After Max Mosley stepped away from F1, he helped support victims of phone hacking. The tabloids saw him as the enemy of the press. People didn't stop going after him. You know, and that continued. There was a kind of, he was the main man to get. He did take these things personally, but he wouldn't let that show. And he did channel that energy, not into rage, but I think helping other victims of press intrusion or injustice. Many people would have stepped away from the battles that Max Mosley fought, but he stuck to his beliefs. Morning. Morning, Max. Whatever the personal cost. Tom Parmenter. Sky News.